Hey guys, what's up? Um, well, I just wanted to show you guys how my um, FF Manager program works. It's technically called FF Manager for Windows. I made that because I made some different versions of the software in different languages in the past. And well, this is a pretty much a complete rewrite that took me about two and a half days to complete as the first version. Um, it works a lot differently than FF Viewer. But it's a lot was buggy in some sense, and it has some things that FF Viewer lacks. Granted, it's only the first version. I plan on adding more stuff in, and if you give me re suggestions, comments, or any feedback, it will help me improve. If you don't, well, then I won't be able to come up with the ideas to add to the software. So, um, you sh now I will go ahead and say that the version I have is a slightly updated version that's yet to be released. That will be in the, when I get fully done with the update. But other than that, let's just continue. Um, I have a uh, patch file. Is this is a standard? Uh, this is a called for patch file for Xbox. Uh, NFF Manager. Uh, just go extract it out. Let me see where that went. Uh, right there. Now just open it up. And you'll see there's packs of offset. Those are used for the compression and decompression. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, and then there's what's called profiles in here. Now I'll go over the, what the profiles are soon enough. Now, let's run the program up. It'll, it'll ask, you may, your firewall may catch that. You need to allow it to check for updates. And then, um, if, if it doesn't come up, it's probably just barred. It says it automatically checks for the latest version. And then you have a simple interface. Okay, so first, what you want to do right here is just go file open. Um, it'll, it's automatically going to go to where you are. So, we'll, so, actually, let's just go to our desktop right here. And then that's the fast file. It automatically detects the fast file type and the version, and then it asks you for a fast file profile. It'll go here. It'll automatically go to the current directory where it is, and then you see profiles. We this is the Xbox one, so we'll go to the Xbox folder and then call it four. As you can see, I've already created a um, uh, fast file XML profile for this, uh, which I use myself. Just select it, and then it'll load up. And then you have all your GSCs right here. Now, one thing, uh, first feature I like to note is that, as you can see right here, uh, it has 157963 of uh, 157963 bytes used. Now, right here, what ha what can happen is where unlike FF Viewer, where it will let you go on forever and then give you a arithmetic error and possibly screw you up. Uh, just watch what I do here. I just keep holding it down right here and it will it will stop and you see right here it will stop as in it won't let me do anything more so from right here as you can see it won't ever let you go over the limit's the limit, and it doesn't let you go any further than that. Oh, by the way, uh, like FF Viewer, if I go right here, then go back, it's back to normal. It does not save. Now, what if I want to remove this function right here? All you gotta do is go to File, Save File, and what happens is if you switch to a GSC without saving it, it's not saved. So you go File, Save File, it'll hang for a second. File Global Logic has been saved. Um, when you're done editing and saving, go to File Compress to save the entire fast file. As you can see now, it has been changed. It's been messed. It's been changed. You can change whatever else you want. So, for example, S and D. If I want to, if I want to remove this function out here, right here, for whatever reason, File Save. It's been saved. And then at the end, if I want to compress. I just go compress, and then it tells you it's compressed, and then it compresses that. Now, what if you want to rename a GSC? 
uh, that's going to be a common question I know. Now what I now what you need to do is uh, what this program does is right here you can see this folder it creates a folder with the name hash mp xbox extract and inside of it it will have this file now for PS3 it can have 20 or more files to affect how the PS3 compression works but for Xbox it will always be one file for an Xbox patch so what you do is you just go I'm just going to run HXD and I want to take the file drag down here now what if we want to rename rename the global logic which is I do very often I just go find I just go find global logic all find and then you'll see right here in the data in the hex data you'll see math mp game types global logic now everyone's been doing this nit ram stuff by the guy these in the past by the guy who made the thing well here's one thing I'd like to say of how simple it is to rename thing you don't need to rename the GSC here's what you do here's what I do change maps to mods and it renames just change the and just change that maps to mods and the file is different and it's now considered in the mods folder because you just renamed it right there that's all I would really do I don't have to rename global logic to anything special I change maps to mods and file save Um, then I'll just exit out, and then right here, when I saved it, I just go to File Compress, and it's just been modified. I just went to hex, changed the GSC name, then saved it, went to File uh, Compress in FF Manager, compressed it, and now the GSC is renamed. Now you can also now if you exit now say if you exit without doing this. Say, say you exit um say if you exit without closing what you can do is you can go to ex open extracted fast file go to your desktop and then open the fast file and then it and then it'll automatically detect and take the extracted version of the fast file and it will not re-extract it and, and so that won't overwrite your previous changes if you did if you if you change some stuff but never compress it back you can open that uh, open the extracted version and take it so I should go right here profile Xbox on 4 and then it'll open it up and it's automatically extra and you'll see it's extracted and as you can see overgrown I think it was MP block is all there. Since we, if we made changes, it's all there still. And now, if we go file a close fast file, it will delete the extract version. As you can see, as it missing right there, it will delete it. So, also here's another thing. If you go file, if you try to, if you try to open a fast file that's a, that's not extracted through the, uh, the through the open extract fast open the extracted fast file option, it will. Say the extracted. This seems. It seems this fast files extracted directory cannot be found. Would you like to go ahead and do it? Extract it. Yes. It will do it. Extract it out. Um. Now, granted, all we got to do. Now, in the new version, I have it so that. Oh, in the new version, I have to have been new things which I'm not going to dis demonstrate right now. But I just want to go close it. Run again. Okay. Now say I want now, but here's also if you try to open a fast file that's already extracted, that uh, should re-extract it. If you try to open a fast file normally that's already extracted, then go right here. It'll say it'll tell you it's already been extracted, and it needs to delete the shit, or delete the stuff, and then re-extract it. So go ahead, and yeah, says it all. Uh, soon I'll give a tutorial on how a guide on 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 getting modding on how to uh, create a profile for a G for a fast file. Considering uh, all fast files are unique, like because they have different uh, GSCs and stuff, so one profile won't work for another fast file. Um, now, 
Now, what is a fast? Now, what's the fast file? What's the uh, FF or FF profile? Or fast file profile. Well, I've added the um, I've added the what's uh, what's the fast file profile option right here. If you're curious to read it. Well, quote, well, unlike FF Viewer, which magically and automatically finds all GSCs and important files, you basically just open it up and has it's all right there. FF Manager requires some help in doing so. FF Manager uses XML files, which is a which is a uh, file format for storing data. It uses XML files to tell it what the file names are, where they are, where they are, uh, where they are at, or aka the position, and how big each file is. And by the way, the position is more technically the offset, uh, which you know offsets and hex. Since most file, fast files are different, you need an X, you need an XML file for each one. An example is you need an XML file for patch underscore MP FF and a different one for code post GFX MP. So every single fast file has different GCs with different sizes and their different position the fast files. So you need a profile that gives instructions on how to handle the fast file. The one for the patch MP FF will not work for the Copos GFX MP. They also say the same truth, the, uh, as I just repeated. You can get uh, create fast file profiles from GoGaming.com some download area. Now from here, I will probably be making a few more profile, doing a bit more mapping as I call it for the fast files and make creating more profiles you can download. If you have any fast uh, any fast file in particular you need to mo you need to uh, modify or whatever, I'll see if I can't work with that. Um, yeah, so this program is pretty simple. It works a lot. It works a lot faster. If you don't have all the issues of file open close open close with with FF Viewer, and I know the uh, author FF Viewer has stopped maintaining a software for uh, over two years now. May, well, maybe not over two years, but I've lost track of time. It's been a while. So, yeah. Um, hope you enjoy my program. And, yeah. Created by me. If you want to go and get anything else, just go to getamoney.com. And you can get more profiles from Um uh, Well, peace out and enjoy my tool. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to let me know. I'm always looking to add more stuff to the program and improve it. Well, peace out.